Deschler, Ohio is home to one of the most loved rail fan parks in the Midwest. Called the Crossroads of CSX, Deschler Park has been maintained by a handful of faithful volunteers over the years. We sat down with volunteer Greg Zoll and talked about the colorful history and the amazing features of the rail fan park. My name is Greg Zoll. I am a member of the Bartlow Township Historical Society here in Dashler. Um, basically help volunteer between the Historical Society itself, which is this, where this is being recorded, and uh, Crossroads Park across the tracks. The Historical Society acquired the park around 1990. Somebody in town found out it was private property and the Historical Society acquired it for to make it a rail fan park. I think a lot of it is that it's it is not a city park. It's not like, you know, don't get me wrong, Faustoria, the park in Faustoria is in a great place. But the fact that there is no fence, there, you know, it's it's smaller, it's a little bit, you know, Deschler is 1,800 people. A little bit more intimate than, let's say, Faustoria, which has considerably more people. The general rule of thumb I typically use is about, for all of, just sitting at the park, about 60 to 70 a day. Some days get more, some days get less. So, you know, something varies with the season, like you'll get more grain traffic in the winter. And, you know, like coal, oil, ethanol, it just, it varies so much. You know, one of the, few of the main reasons people come to Deschler is that we have Wi-Fi, we've got, you know, places where you can have, you know, grill some food, watch some trains, you can camp overnight, couple days, you just, there's people that have come here with big fifth wheel campers, there's people that, you know, it's like, I'm spending the night in the car, I've done that. Well, as of the this recording, we've got the depot, which is kind of in a sad state of repair. And it got uh, hit in a coal train derailment in 2002, and um, it really hasn't been, not much has been done to it since, and it'll probably just fall into itself after so long, which just time goes on. The uh, old, uh, the old railroad tower is across the tracks from the depot that basically was one of the first centralized traffic control installations in the United States. And it, it was actually a dispatcher, not a tower operator. That, uh, that dispatcher controlled from t basically Toledo to Lima. And that was in service, I want to say it was put in about 1931 and in the late 80s it got remoted to Jacksonville, Florida after the CSX merger. We do have, also have a lot of the old B&O CPL signals still around. There are some projects in the works that some of them may fall, so, you know, it's depending on when you watch this, you might want to get some plans to get out here sure. if you want to see them. Because there's, there's still quite a few, but they're slowly falling. There are quite a few options for food in Deschler and the surrounding area. There's a Mama Rose's restaurant on East Main Street. Got a subway at the uh, the Shell gas station in town. There is the Porky's Pizza, which is just down West Main Street from the Shell station. And uh, there's a uh, the sandwich shop inside the local Super Value supermarket, and then the uh, Deschler Lanes, the bowling alley on the west side of town. Now um, there's a couple other of these small towns around here that they've got little restaurants, little pizza shacks, stuff like that. You know, it's, it's living in Deschler, I tend to go to these places quite a bit, but sometimes I'll drive out of town and I'll get a pizza from Lipsick or something like that, because anything helps, especially around here. Mm -hmm. Now, North ba the yard at North Baltimore opened in 2011, and uh, a lot of the, uh, the intermodal stack trains work the yard there. They either pick up or set off blocks. A lot of what goes on there is sorting for western destinations and eastern destinations. There are, there's quite a few trains, especially coming west, that will go to like BNSF or UP or they'll go to Chicago, somewhere in Chicago. It's just basically it's there just to help with the sorting process. There isn't a whole lot of trucks coming into it or leaving it. There is some, but a lot of it is just for 
sorting between destinations and really has helped the process with the uh, intermodal traffic through here and other places like Chicago, which is notorious for its rail congestion. Like the park on Facebook, I'm one of the admins on the page and um, there's we're always posting stuff. There's always, we type, uh, typically try to do a couple photos a week of either something around here or something from the past or and we keep up, uh, we also post updates like we've got something going on like Memorial Day weekend or 4th of July weekend or something like that. That's about the easiest way to do it. You can always send a private message to one of the admins on there and we can answer your questions and set you in the right direction with what you need to know. Easiest way to donate right now, because we're working on getting a PayPal and getting this into the 21st century, is uh, just um, personal check, money order. Uh, it's um, P.O. Box 131, Deschler, Ohio, Greg about the local historical museum, which has an extensive collection of artifacts and is just north of the tracks on Main Street. Originally, when it was built in the 1800s, it was a livery stable for horses. Over the years, it's been several different things. It's the last major use for it was a grocery store. There's been other stuff in it since then, but basically the past 20 years or so, it's been home to the Historical Society. There's uh, various artifacts regarding the local history and exhibits of like the Deschler Mailbox Company they used to make the uh, mailboxes and newspaper boxes, the Claude Sintz Company, which made various automobile parts, a lot of memorabilia from the old Deschler High School, which is scheduled to be torn down. Um, just various artifacts from the, the local region, just the local, you know, within probably about 10 or 15 miles of Deschler, and if it's historical, it's probably in here. It's just a great place. I can't really, you gotta come here and see it.